So I'm here in what is considered to be the most obese town in the United Kingdom. Britain is too fat and is getting fatter. Damning figures today revealed that obesity costs British taxpayers almost 14 billion pounds a year, twice as much as those of a healthy weight. Hospital admissions linked to obesity have doubled to more than 3,000 people a day. A shocking stat that we found out was that over 80% of the population of Ebu Vale was considered obese, meaning their BMI ranges from 30 or higher. Radical measures are needed if we had to start saving lives. First thing I needed to do was to actually chat to some of the locals around here and see if they agreed with being labelled the UK's fattest town. Are you from around here? Yes. Did you know that this was voted one of the UK's most unhealthiest towns? Yes. You did know that? Oh, yeah. Do you guys eat much fast food? Yeah, because that's all there is up here. Wait, oh, what, what, have you, what, what have you got there? Greg's. Greg's. Yeah. And would you say that's a pretty popular spot? Around here? Yeah, definitely. It's one of the main places in town. Um, so do you, do you, both of you guys live here? Yeah, yeah I live here. Yeah. 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 This, so this place was actually voted one of the most unhealthy places in the UK. Would you agree with that? Do you think yeah, that's fair? Yeah. Do you yeah, think it is? Yeah. 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 What, what is it about this place well, that makes we, you think that? We don't yeah. help and give a drug to yes. and, yeah. So do, do you think they have a problem with that as well around here? Well, then, in the, you walk around the room to have a 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, right? And you've got more sleep in the shop to always now. All right, lads. Cheers. Appreciate, appreciate right. your words. Thank you very much. Have a good day guys i'm not gonna lie every everyone every time we bring up the fact that it's unhealthy the first Say thing people, drugs first. the first thing yeah. people think of is drugs yeah. not the food which i think is pretty interesting crazy we uh read a study recently that this place was one of the most unhealthy places in the united kingdom would you agree with that yeah definitely yeah. do you reckon that's because of the drugs do you reckon it's the food places what is it about it that Probably might cause that the food places there's a lot yeah. of takeaways around here the same for you yes pretty much yeah okay great yeah. wonderful thank you guys very much for your time i appreciate it ah oh, yes Hi there. Um, there was a study done that it was the fattest city in the UK. Do you think that's that's right? True. <laughs> Fat boy. Eighty percent are either overweight or obese here. Do you agree with that? Yeah. yeah I was literally walking down the street earlier, and I was thinking, "Fuck me!" Like there's some <laughs> fat <laughs> shit. <laughs> and what do you reckon are the busiest places, uh, food places, here? McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. Is that the busiest, yeah? yeah? Well, we might have to go and check that out then. Yeah. Thank you guys very much. Early on, there was a common theme, and that was the McDonald's. So we decided to take our investigation over there. Hiya. Am I all right just to ask you a couple questions about this town? No. no. Okay. Do you am I all right to ask you a couple questions about this town? What's happening? Uh, yeah, no. So this town was actually recently voted one of the fattest towns in the United Kingdom. Would you agree with that? I don't. Sound bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, are there, are you said there's a bunch of crackheads around here. All right. Well, we've just been been told that there's a lot of crackheads around here. Maybe, maybe we changed the video at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, the world's most depressing town. Yeah. Crackheads and unlimited fast food. <laughs> to be fair, that probably is a genuine reason or Absolutely. cause. Yeah. Um, is that obviously if somebody's on loads of drugs, it's not like you're going to be thinking, "Ooh, I need to have a healthy meal yeah. now." Yeah. Let's... Let me just put down the heroin <laughs> <laughs> and pick up the celery. <laughs> Yeah. It looks like the word's gotten out here at Abu, 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 Abu Vale. Vale. And so we're gonna we're, we're gonna ask these fine strapping young gentlemen yes. that look very approachable about this place. Hi there, fellas. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice What's to your name? Yeah. So um, this place was actually voted the fattest town in the United Kingdom. Do you think do you think that's fair? He's quite too fat. Reasonably, yeah. Reasonably, yeah. I made over there, look. He's nice nice guy though. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, that's a valid, that's a fair point, I suppose. What do you what do you think? What is it about this place that makes you think that it's unhealthy? It's too many fast food restaurants. Yeah. yeah. If you were to guess, how many do you reckon there are? A good twenty, I think. There are fifty-five fast food places here, and in total, there are only seventy-five places here. When people talk about this place being unhealthy, do you think they're talking about the younger generation or the older people? A lot of child uh, children are. I think I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not many, not many people, parents seem to be doing something about the like. Uh -huh. so Amazing. All right, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Cheers for that, guys. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thank you. One thing I've noticed about Ebbe Vale is there's one fresh fruit and veg shop in this entire place so far. Everything is either frozen food or fast food. There's the problem. <laughs> You're lucky to get out of the town alive, boy! So I don't know whether they take that as, as a threat from them yeah. or what, but they weren't, they, they were slightly dodgy, so I'm not surprised. Don't mess with those. Yeah. Down a dark alley, you know what I mean? Right, Reed. 
Hello, mate. The food options in Ebu Vale were clearly a massive problem. It was mainly populated with fast food chains like Greg's, kebab shops, Domino's, and there was a real lack of healthy food options. It's safe to say that even just like walking up and down these gas, there is a big lack of good vibes. Generally, this place seems like, unfortunately, has no ambition. And a lot of the people here often, you know, turn to vices in unhealthy foods and drugs. Exactly. The fact that there is only one quote unquote healthy store says it all. Yeah. So off we go to another fast food store to investigate further. <laughs> Hi there. Could I order a margarita with a large slice of truth? Who is this guy? <laughs> They say that 80% of people here are either overweight. Do you agree with that or? I have to say, I would agree, honestly. Yeah. Um, they tend to be building a lot more fast food, so oh, yeah. a lot of Costas, a lot of Greg's. Do you, yeah. do you, do you have regular customers here? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've got quite a lot of regular customers. Um, they come in every week, actually, as always, on Thursday. <laughs> um, there was a customer who came in three times in a row. He was two wraps and a set of cookies. Each day, each every day. single day. It was a different wrap each day. Okay. Well, at least you changed that. At least they changed yeah. that. Thank, Thank you, man. Cheers. 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 Have a good day, yeah. Look. That's why. Five quid as well. That again. You you want to compare that to the prices of the healthy gaff? Five quid. You're getting a wrap and a drink. It's tough to compete. All right. Now everybody loves a kebab shop, and in the UK, kebab shops are like the holy grail. Hi there. Can I ask, just ask you? Do you have like a lot of regular customers here? Yeah, lots. Do you get people coming in multiple times a day? Sometimes two times. Really? Yeah. Up to two times a day, somebody will just come in here. Wow. Do you like it here? It's fucking shit, though. It's, it's shit? Yeah. yeah. What, don't, what don't you like about it? The Ebu. Ebu. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Have a good one, guys. Someone has, has let slip that we're here and it's gotten a bit chaotic. Gosh damn it, that younger generation. Oh, you pesky ones. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god, oh, this, this place is mental. Everyone just jumped in their cars and it's like a game of hide and seek. Hello, hello. How are you? What's going on, man? How are you? Yeah, nice to meet you. Are the younger people overweight and obese or are they, for the most part, pretty good? Some are pretty good, yeah, but there are some uh, wampers, eh? <laughs> like you go to any cafe and it's just loaded, fats, 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 everything, really? man. Sugars is, is there a cafe around here that you'd recommend us to go? Yeah, Mountain Is that right? good? I'm not sure where it is, though, but everyone raves about Mountain Is. Really? Yeah. All right, I think we're going to try and head there and see if yeah. we can find ourselves a so decent meal. So we're here. At the Mountain Air. Good food. Great prices. <laughs> and actually an incredible view to be fair. So. Hold on, no entry. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, here it is. Had to visit Mountain Air because of the Mountain Air Mixed Grill Challenge Special. 16 ounces pork steak, 16 steak, 16 the almond, two chicken breasts, two lamb chops, four fried eggs, four jumbo sausages, peas, mushrooms, onion rings, chips, 60 pounds or free if you complete it on your own in an hour. Mountain Air Chicken. <laughs> Served with the air of a mountain. Okay, I'll... <laughs> I suppose there's only been one man that's ever managed to complete this challenge, and it is none other than Beard Meets Food. Shot in 34 minutes. Well done. Is that right? Oh, you give me a round of applause, and then. <laughs> Wowie. Wow. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even pick up both pieces, mate. Ah. <laughs> Take a guess, Reeve. Yeah. How much calories do you reckon was on the plate to begin with? Total thing, chips included, onion rings, six and a half thousand. I think that's that's all my meat's done, by the way. Well, it is, you know. <laughs> two pork, gammon, lamb chops, and then all the chicken, and the two sausages. So what have I been doing? <laughs> I don't know, eating the onion rings, apparently. <laughs> have you had your chicken as well? Yeah, yeah. So what the hell have I been doing <laughs> for the last 15 minutes? I really don't know. That I'm behind the, on old meats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything on the plate, bar the onion rings, which you've, I've, you know what, I'll take these off your hands because you've covered more than I have. I wonder if they uh, ever locked that door. <laughs> Mate, please, I'm on the road. I'm on the road. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The beast isn't coming alive. The fact that this exists here is interesting because this is really not in the middle of nowhere, but it's um, it's quite rural. I'm ready to go to sleep. Yes, yeah, I'm food coma territory. I, f I feel s sick. We've tried the local cuisine. Fantastic, albeit a lot. Regardless, we're gonna go and check out. Speak to a few more people 
and understand a little bit more about why this is the UK's fattest town. So the question that was still on my mind was why are people getting so many takeaways rather than healthier sources of food? One thing I've noticed, right? We were talking about price of nutrition. Fruit, more expensive than a sausage roll in Greg's. Look, there's loads of stuff. There's lots of bits of bobs you can get here. Look, and then look. Yeah, yeah. And then look down here. Funny how the stuff that has less stock are the sweets and the stuff that is full of stock is the fruit. Was, um, this, this is considered one of the most unhealthy towns here, but you've obviously got yeah. a great spot here with loads of healthy food. And so I just wanted to get your thoughts. Our generation doesn't know how to cook. Okay. Whereas the older generation knows how to cook and make meals from scratch where us, we don't. McDonald's is too easy. Yeah, we rely on like frozen foods like pizzas and you know, just yeah. easy ready meals. Heroin foods? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Talk to me, look at this offer. Four pounds for two pizzas, wedges and brownies. That's like a, a, quid a, a quid a piece. But the fact that that's front and centre of the shop as the advertisement just goes to show how bad the nutrition is in the area, right? I'm not gonna lie, unbelievable value. Maybe not so great for your body, but still. In a place like this, what do you reckon most people are buying? Frozen stuff. Frozen, Frozen. stuff. Frozen, yeah, definitely. Do, do you find that people choo are, are choosing more and more healthy things recently, or do you think that no. this is a pretty unhealthy place? Unhealthy, yeah. definitely. Like yeah. all our posters, it's all unhealthy, if you yeah. know what I mean. What do you attribute that to? Why do you reckon that um, is? Fruit and veg is so pricey. If, if there's one thing that you would change, what would that be? The prices of fruit and oh. veg, yeah, definitely, 110%. Okay, amazing. Thank yes. you so Thank much. You. Really appreciate that. You're Thank amazing. You. She is right. Like, it genuinely is so cheap here. And in, in something... W oh, wait, you look excited by something. Shit. <laughs> it's all shit. Yeah. Mental. All right. Cool. Let's get out of here. Just looking, promoting, and it's yeah. still Front and center. Food. Front and center. Every frozen shop. scran, baby. Where are the carrots, eh? To combat this epidemic, Ebu Vale had spent 15 million pounds on a brand new gym facility. So it was our turn to head in there to see if we can get an interview with any of them. Hi there. Hiya. We were just uh, making a video. We were in town here. So we wanted to get some nice shots of the, the facility you guys have here. Is that possible? I need to speak to the manager. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so full, man. I feel so full. Unfortunately, it's got a control marketing manager. Okay. And you'd need to get permission from where. No worries. Okay. I'm not. Am I okay to ask one of you guys just a couple of questions about the place? Then is that okay? Are we all right to ask you a few questions on here? Is that all right? I didn't know if you knew this, but the town has been voted as yes. yes. The so wait, you knew about this? So you yes, on YouTube. But the, but the gym's a brand new facility, right? And it's trying to combat. Yeah, from the... COVID. So do you reckon it's enough what they're doing at the moment to combat the problems, or do you reckon they need to build either more of these, or it's just not working? Like the people around you aren't lazy. It's just fat. It? It's yeah. just KFC. McDonald's, yeah. Greg's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah there's loads yeah. there. Will, will ever be, ever, veil, ever come out of the. No, there's no, there's no chance. No, it'll probably no get hope. worse. No, it'll probably get worse. All right, well, there we go. There we have it. It looks like he thinks there's no hope for yeah. this place. Even as a guy that works at the gym, he has just said there's no hope for the, for the town. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, after spending time in Ebu Vale, I actually came away from it feeling a little bit sad, a little bit disheartened, because it really seemed as though Ebu Vale, as a town, as a city, had kind of given up. And with that in mind, I at least want to do my part, even if it's just in a small little way. So in the description of this video, you're going to see a list of charities that will all help and be involved. And I'm going to be donating the entirety of the proceeds from this video to those charities. I'd love it if you guys could get involved as well and choose one or choose a couple and donate as well. Because at the end of the day, being healthier can only be a good thing.